to venture out and go see what um, I need to find a birthday present for my husband. And I am bringing the gloves. And I know that sounds crazy, but I am autoimmune compromised. Uh, so I am immunocompromised because of my autoimmune disease. So I'm bringing them. I don't care. Hey guys, I just came out of Big Lots. Uh, uh, no toilet paper, but they do have lots of paper towels, so that's a good backup. Um, but don't flush your paper towels, by the way. You don't want to be doing that. Um, uh, but they do have um, lots of canned goods, meats, canned meats, canned vegetables, pasta, beans, all that stuff that's not keto that we might need in emergency. Uh, so I did get some stuff for the grandkids. I got my grandkids some applesauce. Um, and some pasta and things like that to feed them because we have had them for four or five days a week and I'm not going to feed them all my keto food. Um, I mean, I like to feed them keto food is my preference, which is what I do feed them on a normal basis. But if we're going to get stuck, you know, in-house uh, quarantine for a while, I don't want to, when I run out of keto food, you know, this other stuff is what we have. And I'd rather feed it to them and save some of the other meat and veggies for me. Uh, but anyway, so I did get some things, and I will show you that when I get home, um, to show you what kinds of things you could look for. Also, another place you can look besides a big lot is like gas stations, uh, convenience stores, things like that. Places you wouldn't think to look for things like that. I'm not saying you're going to find any toilet paper there, but you'll probably find some things like beef jerky, um, things you're not uh, that might last shelf life a little bit longer, um, things like that. So. Also, local health food stores, try them too. I'm gonna go now and try to find my husband a birthday present, and then I will show you guys what I got at Big Lots. All right, guys, I'm back from Big Lots. Let's look at the little haul that I got that's a couple keto things and some non-keto things as well to have on hand for emergencies. All right, guys, so some of the stuff I got is keto and some of it's not because I have grandchildren and I am expecting to have, I just wanna keep my, my stockpile um, built up, especially if this ends up being longer than we anticipate, even though I do have my freeze dried food and I have uh, my freezer full and my keto food. So I just want to make sure that I have enough stuff for having, I have my grandchildren about four days a week right now. So usually every weekend, plus maybe another day or two for part of the day, each, each of those two days. So, um, I want to make sure that we have stuff. So I got some smoked oysters and some canned chicken. Those are good. Um, smoked oysters, I mean, the, the cottonseed oil is not the best oil for us. It's inflammatory, but it is better than eating, you know, Cheez-Its or something, right? Or um, chicken nuggets or whatever. So this is definitely a good thing to have in your stash and any kind of canned meats, right? They actually had some Kiss My Keto bars, and they had, they've been having Quest bars, but this is the only flavor they had this time. So when I got those... They weren't really all that much cheaper um, than other stores I get stuff at. This this might have been, but I don't think these were. Um, I got some plain tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes because those can be used for lots of different things. Got four can, five cans of green beans because you can always have more uh, vegetables on hand. Now for the grandkids, I got some applesauce pouches and they had these freeze dried apple snacks. So those would be always good to have on hand for snacks and they keep well. So these things are really good and shelf stable. Um, I got some pasta and some Alfredo sauce, some sunflower seeds, and then I also picked up some moisturizers because I needed those and this kind that I have are completely out. So this is just this little small haul from Big Lots, but this is just to show you guys that you can get stuff at alternative stores. Look at, look for places like Big Lots, like gas stations, Dollar General, Family Dollar, um, convenience stores, Bucky's, if you have a Bucky's, um, you know, just places you wouldn't think, um, think outside the box, think outside the box. Uh, if there's a grocery store outlet near you, local health food stores, um, places like that. So think outside the box and it's those different places. Um, I haven't seen anyone post about like Whole Foods or anywhere like that. I do know I saw some some video online of a uh, Trader Joe's that was really backed up in the morning to get in. Uh, but try the ones that you know go outside the box to try to find things uh, that you can keep in your um, stash for for times like these. And some of them can be keto, and then some can be for backup just in case you run out of the keto things. Right? So we want to try to stay keto if we can, but we also have to be real, right? 
So here is my little haul, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.